What's going on everybody? Mortem here, this time bringing you a bit of a off-the-cuff discussion video about something CRPGs need to change if they expect to actually survive this time around. So, to give some color to that, if you're unaware, CRPGs all but died, like in the 90s, and then recently came back in like the 2010s with some great Kickstarter campaigns and things. And I want to discuss something that I think it is incredibly important that CRPGs start to do better. Because even the ones that have done very well still don't do this, and as someone who plays CRPGs extensively, and covers them extensively, I can tell you one of the biggest things that people always talk to me about is simply that these games are hard to get into. So the thing I think they need to start addressing, and some of them have, to give a couple of them credit, is that these games are inherently based on rule books, usually, like D&D for instance, that are very deep. And because of that, you almost have to go read all these books in order to know what you're doing. Like, a character creator doesn't help you very much if you don't understand the decisions you are making while you're making your character. So what I think these games need to start understanding is that the people who are going to play Baldur's Gate 3 are not necessarily the same people who are going to be actually playing D&D &D on a regular basis enough to actually know what those rules are by heart. The same thing goes for pretty much any game. And you see this a lot in other games, Baldur's Gate 3 just being the recent biggest title, which is why I name dropped it, but things like Pathfinder have the same issue, Wasteland 3 is a little better about it, Divinity Original Sin 2 is probably like one of the best examples of this because they use kind of their own modified system, which I loved once I got into it and learned it, but not everybody has time to put 500 hours into that game like I have. Basically what this boils down to, I think CRPGs need to start understanding that if they want to reach a bigger audience and moreover survive this time around, that they need to start finding ways to incorporate their rule sets into these games better. Now one CRPG, ironically enough, has come out rather recently in Early Access that I think actually does this pretty well. Not perfectly, mind you, but much better than I've seen in previous titles, and that is actually Celasta, Crown of the Magister. Now while I'm not wild about the game itself, because they have a pretty strict adherence to rules as written for D&D, which is fine. You know, it gives it its niche, if nothing else, compared to other games. But what Celasta does well, despite me not being wild about it necessarily, is that the character creator and the tutorial section of that game are heads and tails better than most other games, including the much more popular titles that you've probably heard of that I've mentioned up to this point. While you're in the character creator, Celasta will actually walk you through the choices you are making and explain what these things do, which is not something that other games have bothered to do, really. But after the character creator as well, you're supposed to be meeting a group of adventurers in a tavern to go start your adventure in classic D&D fashion. But when you get there, all of the characters will give a short introduction to how they got to the tavern, just kind of telling the others, like, troubles they ran into on the road. And they use those stories to walk you through game mechanics, as well as Dungeons & Dragons rule sets, which I think is incredible, especially compared to most other games. In fact, it was so well done that it's kind of what inspired this discussion video to begin with. Because again, the biggest complaint I get about these games is simply that people don't understand what is happening, and it does not feel great to tell someone that, hey, before you jump into this game, here's 20 hours of required reading I'm going to need you to do. That's ridiculous. That's not how video games work. That's not the point of making a video game. That medium isn't really great for that kind of thing. Like, if you're going to play the tabletop game, yeah, obviously you need to read that stuff and figure it out. Or at least have a DM who doesn't mind telling you as you play. But for the sake of a video game where the information is being presented to you visually in front of you, to then tell someone, hey, you actually have to put that back down, go read all these books, and then come back to me? It doesn't feel great to tell someone that. Reading or going to watch hours of YouTube videos to understand what you're doing just isn't a good feeling. And to me, it is hands down the biggest thing CRPGs need to address going forward. And again, some of them have started trying to do this. But it has a long way to go before I think CRPGs will ever, in my opinion, catch the attention they deserve, because a lot of times people simply don't understand how to play these games, at least effectively. 
Which, I mean, let's be real, that's a big part of why my channel exists to begin with, because I can go over these things. If you look at the biggest videos on my channel, they are hands down basic guides to Divinity Original Sin 2, because that game doesn't do a good job of explaining a lot of things, as much as I love it. So there you go, guys, just kind of a discussion piece. I'm actually really curious to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions on this, so please leave a comment down below. But regardless, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz, but may you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.